Well, today we've been honoured and lucky to have such a beautiful day, and we're going to head out to a little chapel called Tickle Keel. And um, it's on private land, so don't try and do it, please. We've had permission. And um, it's a little chapel in the middle of a field. Sign to it being a chapel, right? Yeah. A different stone to us, but <coughs> all these stones were um, from the beach. Not all of them, most of them were beach. Most stones. of them, yeah. yeah. The lintel. But though that's stuff in there, that's sandstone. Eh? That's sandstone. Yeah. Around the window. Yeah. yeah. And then Roxy, let's go to school. So this. Yeah, I know, we got permission to go, haven't we? Well, I know we are, but we don't want to upset anybody. Gosh. <laughs> Careful now. Oh, I don't like unfamiliar ground. I don't like... Oh. Ooh. Nice fireplace. It is a nice fireplace, isn't it? Cap to the top. Uh, yeah, I'm not putting my head in there. Though. No, no, I know. So this, uh, apart from being a chapel, it became a school, didn't it? Yeah, it was first the keel chapel. Yeah. And then it became a school. Um, Who made it into a school? Mr. Clark. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, he funded it himself as well. Did he? Yeah. Put a roof and all on it. Mm, um. I can't remember the year though. It's all right, you have a little bit. 1901, I think. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. Hmm. Or was that when they left here to go into Ramsey? Clark's here a long time, that's for sure. Yeah. Mm. And he was um, known as the bone setter. He was. In Ramsey. Nar that Narcotic or something or another. There was a special ointment he made, yeah. wasn't it? We hope he's passed the recipe down to the family because it sounded like it was good stuff. Mm. <laughs> Because what a cute little school. I know. It's lovely. And there's the, um, it's like a little window, pretty window thing. Looking out on the world. No, it looks like curtains made of stone. Oh, does it? Yeah, it's behind you. Behind you! <laughs> oh, okay. Right, I'm going to do this bit. Yeah, we're recording. Oh, glasses down. Too sunny for you. So there's a little thing in the wall here. It looks like uh, stone curtains. And you know, apparently there was human ashes found as well. Oh, mm. hang on then. Let me come in. Stone curtains. Stone. Hey, there's a new one. Stone curtains. Stone curtains. It's the stone eye. But we all need in a house. <laughs> stone curtains. Well, they never need washing. Oh, look at that. Look at the church. I wonder when that church, that uh, Jerby church was built. Jerby church? Yeah, right through the Pretty. window. Wonder what, well, that was obviously built fairly new, that one, isn't it? That was well after this. In fact, there's something I can show you over there. Go on. But the two kissing headstones. Really? One, uh, I think they're Kelly's actually, or Killia. Anyway, the husband died first, and right. then 20 years later, the wife died. And the headstones fell together in Aww. the end forever. You whole romantic. I am. Yeah. You're so lucky. I'm <laughs> so lucky. <laughs> Folk, I'm so lucky. She tells me every day. Uh, Holding so hands, aren't they? I'd say leaning together, shoulders lying down. Yeah, I would. I agree with you. My imagination is yeah. really wild. I, lo I love it. That's the only headstone I've seen like this on the island. I have looked out for more. Really? Yeah, I just came across it one day, probably in an emotional time. <laughs> Not like you, that. <laughs> oh, thanks for showing it. I never knew about it at all. Never. Oh, it's lovely. It's a great end to our video for the little kickle keel, isn't it? And they were from Bala... Bala... Crink. It looks like Bala, Bala Crink, Crink Jerby. Jerby. Yeah. I wonder what we could find out about Bala Crink Jerby. <laughs> and where is it? <laughs> That say? Looks like 103. 
I'm sure it's 103. It is 103. And there are some carvings on this. All the way down. Ancient. Um, I don't even know what that's for. It looks like some of the ones in Kirk Michael Church. It me. does. Little nacelles there over side the fireplace. Bit of cosy little school. Mm. Must have been for the local 20 or 30 kids, I reckon. Mm. I was just thinking that stone curtain window there, you can imagine a little candle glowing in there. What, in the nacelle there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And look at the two little holes there. I was seeing those before, actually. Those two little holes there. Yeah. Other side. It is really cute, isn't it? <laughs> Side of the door. Roxy's turned into a cow, she's eating grass. <laughs> we'll give it to you, it's all kill it. As usual, the dogs are with us. Come on, doggies. And just a stone's throw over there is the old, um, oh, what is RAF it? station. That's there. it, yeah. yeah. That's the old uh, RAF station. I remember the jets bombing out on the range just outside on, on the sea. And as I said, there is a shipwreck on the beach called SS Passages, I think. Still there. Definitely worth looking at. <coughs> Hello. And the other side, as you said, the one lives there. Oh no. Oh, wait, there's, there's one of those hills with holes in. What's it, a bunker? Yeah. Yeah, I've just spotted it. Well, I'll take a picture of that. What Don't forget, also just below that uh, Jerby RDF thing is the old ruin of the SS Passages, isn't it? Is it? The, the boat ruin on the beach. Is that just here? Yeah. Oh, I've never seen that. SS Passages. Ah, oh, the tide out. Don't know. It's well, quite another long... ruin just over there. Yeah, I'm going to have a look at that one in a minute. A little quick trip around Kick and Keel. Don't forget, folks, there's private property, no trespassing. The owners have been very good to let us come over the garage. I love seeing it. So the clerks were here from the Napping for many, many years, and owned it. And used it as a school. <laughs> 